Hi and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial brought to you today by Print Kiosk. We're going to have a look today at creating an A5 flyer um, similar to this one here on the screen. We've only got 10 minutes so we need to crack on at full speed so open up Photoshop, go to File, New, give your document a name, doesn't matter what it is, and then come down and select millimetres out of your size. Type in 154 by 216 and make sure the DPI is on 300. Um, A5 is actually 148 by 210 but we need to add some sparing for the printer to cut back into or called bleed so once you've got it open if you left click hold down in this ruler drag out you'll get this guide to come out just bring that out about approximately three millimeters obviously you can set yours perfectly but I don't have the luxury of that time so I'm just going to set mine roughly to three mils everything outside of these guides will be chopped away by the printer and everything inside is actually your printed goods. Okay so there you go. I'm going to minimize that for a second and open up one of the images that we need to drop in. There it is there. I'm going to get the direct select tool. I'm going to left click on my mouse, hold and drop it into our prime document. I'm going to minimize that one and open this one back up. Okay there it is. What I'm going to do, make sure you go over these margins, that's important. On the keyboard control T to bring up free transform. Get your little cursor like that left click on the mouse again, hold and drag out. If you want to keep the proportions the same, hold the shift key at the same time and that will keep that perfectly in proportion. Okay, now I'm going to add some text to that. I'm going to make sure I've got my default colours open. Yes, it's asking me to apply, yes. Get my default colours open by clicking on that little icon there. Put on black, text is open. So now I'm going to type in what I want to type in. So I'm going to set my size and my type and type in print and then I'm going to change it slightly, make it a little funkier, uh, bring the size down, change the colour a little bit so that it just looks a little bit better and then put that in there and this is something you can play around with it to your heart's content. Right I'm going to bring that size down again now to 12 point and finish off this little logo. Okay there you go, come back to the front of that text, click in there and just move that out, nudge that out. Okay, once you're happy, come to this end, get this little curved double arrow here, left click on the mouse, hold it down, and twist. You can stop at any angle you like, I want this one straight, so I'm going to get it as straight as I can, then go to this direct select, left click hold, and move it into position. This image looks a little big to me, so I'm going to come back to that layer, click on the layer, go control T on the keyboard again, bring back up the free transform, double arrow and just move it back up a bit. When you're happy, click on the tick. Okay, I wanna put some background color in here. So I'm gonna select a color from this palette here to put in there, say that one. Okay, I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool. Now some of you, when you do this, it may say you need to raster size first. Just click OK and then redo it and it'll work perfectly. There you go. There's a the background color. I'm now gonna add a new layer by clicking on this little icon here and I'm gonna to go to my swap this over so we've got white and we go to my text palette and put another text box in there drag the way you put them in is left click on the mouse drag and drop I'm going to set my text size to 18 and I'm going to start printing okay big price shoe type direct select again and then you can move this around once you get it where you're happy just let go I'm now going to minimize that again and bring in our second image which is this one here, direct select, left, hold, drop, okay, so on the mouse, left click, hold and drop again, I want to make that slightly bigger, so I'm going to go uh, control T again, bring up this free transform, and I'm going to hold the shift key this time, because I want to keep that in proportion, there we go, once you're happy, click on the tick, just move it into space, Brilliant, now I'm going to put in some contact details and make sure I'm on white, I'm going to go and get a new layer, text box, drop one in here, now this is going to be way too big so I'm going to take this down to say 12 point, that font won't be particularly good at this size so I'm also going to change that to aerial rounded, so now we're ready to go, I'm going to type in con contact, contact, and put in the details www.printkiosk.co.uk 
I'm going to put in our email as well, which is sales at printkiosk.co.uk. We, we are in fact a registered printer, so if your design should turn to ordering and, and getting printed correctly, then please come to us, have a chat, have a look online. It's a fully automated online system. Or give us a text or, or a call or an email. Okay, once you've got that there, just highlight that. Could be a size bigger, I think. So I'm going to go to 14, direct select, and move it into position. Okay, it's pretty good there. Right, I want to add a bit more now. So I'm going to go to pen tool. Make sure this one is selected here when you do this. Shape layers. Come over to here. Get a new layer going. Click on this right hand border. Hold down the shift key. This is important, excuse me. And click again. Hold down the shift key, come into the corner, and click again. Now you'll see that's filled in white. I don't want it filled in white. So you click on the colours palette, select a colour, in this case just red. Get the bucket tool. There it is. Click in it, it'll ask me to raster size. Say OK, fill it back up. Now go back to the default colours and flip them over so you've got white. Get the text box. Uh, and we'll click in what well, we got 14 points so we'll take that down a bit to 12 point and we'll click in free delivery throughout June obviously you can put the words in your light like. once you've got that done left click on the mouse hold drag drop I'm going to centralize that from the text box here and then I'm going to come out get my double arrow curve double arrow get it in line perfect direct select and move it back in there we go great okay we call this the big price shoot tight so let's make it a bit snazzy and drop some bullet holes in it the file new go to millimeters again the size of the file depends on the size of the bullet hole so I'm going to go 75 millimeters by 75 millimeters and okay that that will bring you up a new one right get down onto black paint bucket fill it, swap it over back to white, grab your rectangle box, make sure this one is selected, fill pixels, left click drag, there you go white box and then come up to filter, go stylize, wind, make sure you've got from the left, ok, back into filter, top one now will be wind, back onto that again, once you've done it twice come over to image, rotate canvas through 90 degrees, there you go, and once you've done that, come back to filter, go distort, polar coordinates, click. Okay, there you go, perfect. Now come back to image again, go to adjustments, and you want to invert that. And once you've got it like that, click the magic wand here on the left, click anywhere in the white bit, and there you go. Right click now on your mouse and select inverse and then when you've done that hold the control button down on the keyboard and press C get a new layer out hold the control button down again press V this is now your bullet hole doesn't look much like a bullet hole but we'll soon change that right click in that layer blending options drop shadow inner shadow okay now we're looking like a, a bullet hole so I'll minimize that down I'm going to minimize this right down so I can see where I'm working to okay there we go get that over there perfect and then bring this one up over here this is our actual prime document just going to minimize that as well because I need to see as much as I can to drop these in that's perfect drag that out there just by holding the left key down drag right come back to this one direct select grab hold of this drop it in there's one bullet hole drop them in as in where you see if you want to make them bigger, go back and make the document bigger. Hope you find this informative. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much for joining us. Like I say, if you'd like to come and visit us on www.printkiosk.co.uk, we'd be delighted to see you there, delighted to print your work, and hopefully we're going to create a few more video tutorials for you. Once you've got that, sorry, one more thing, once you've got that printed, come up to File, Save As, this is important. Save as a PDF, Photoshop PDF, that's how printers want it. Okay, save. It'll ask you how, what style, press quality. You want it the best quality you can. Okay, there you go, you're done. Thank you very much for joining us. 